i know of a young lady came and she said please pray for my elder sister at what happened my elder sister is having three daughters so my son when he sleeps she will go on pinch and go she will come to her to my house whenever she come to my house my child will be crying i was wondering what's happening some people said your sister may be doing something maybe black magic or something maybe i thought one day i was cooking my sister came i was preparing the coffee suddenly my child cried i didn't bother i want notice why this child is crying so i was making as the coffee and my eyes were looking behind and my sister noticed that i am very busy she came to her finger the little baby of my jealousy i looked back my sister got pale she ran away she never came back own sister because she has got three daughters you don't know how the human mind works the mind is filled with the dead works when you don't enter into god's love the enemy will enter with the dead works all the dirty works if you don't capture the light you are left out with darkness so remember the love of god he gave his only son he gave his own spirit to us <coughs> having experienced that love of god pray that you to become a loving person in the world we don't know how many years we are going to live on this earth <coughs> as many days you live let the world know that you are a man a woman of love we read in luke's gospel chapter 1 where the angel of the lord came to mother mary and said you will bear a son immediately her answer was what about my husband she never thought oh i am going to be this mother of god every jew woman wished they will be they will be the mother of the messiah messiah will come but mother mary her response was what about my husband i have not known my husband what will happen to him how will he accept me he's a very good man i don't want to harm him i don't want to trouble him if anything happens it's okay what about my husband god loves such hearts you go beyond yourself some women they get married as soon as they get married they get children they forget their husbands they forget the needs of their husbands they are busy with their children and the family is broken because the psychology of man is always hungering for the love more than the children they always try to cling to their wives cling to the flesh the women are blessed they can ease they can but compared to man they can immediately just move out of the flesh to get into the spirit but not men so men need to train more if somebody gives nicely they talk with their wives somebody calls for a come on party we'll have some drinks they will go away they will not bother about their wives because the human mind the untrained mind the unbalanced mind the mind that is not led to god will be easily led by the enemy that's why we read in second corinthian chapter 10 verse 3 to 5 though we are on this earth 24 hours the enemy is after us he is filling our mind with the dead works with the dead thoughts we look holy but all our thoughts are being corrupted that is the way the enemy makes us to 
think corrupted things dead works so god shed the blood you can't handle your life by yourself you can't handle yourself your blood of the goat and sheep will not forgive your sin we read in hebrews 10:5 jesus said when jesus came he said father you gave me your body for what with the blood to shed the blood and forgive the sins of my people who have become victim of sin knowingly and knowingly yes jesus went to beyond himself to save you and me and he gave his blood the father gave his son the holy spirit who is in heaven left to the glory to be with you and me the father sacrifice the son's sacrifice on the cross the holy spirit sacrifice to be with you and me should to make us every minute to thank god to make our life worship to god daddy what did you find in me this sinner that you are staying with me holy spirit thank you be in touch with the holy spirit have fellowship with the holy spirit and you will become a mighty miracle worker my son my daughter invest your time and life for something worthwhile the world is dying god has trusted you and me don't throw away your life for nothing invest your time orient your hearts train your minds move towards the purpose for which god has called you and me to be filled with the love of the father whenever you are alone remember the love don't otherwise the death works will capture your thoughts you do not know what you do what you behave next moment somebody say what i take throw it away that works why because i have not filled my mind with the love of god so the enemy is sitting there which moment it is going to do with what i do not know that's why we read in the book of isaiah chapter 64 it is written verse 6 lord all our works have become so dirty and we have become like dry leaves and once the leaves are fallen from the tree it is at the mercy of the wind the wind will mix it with the dirt dust and it will take wherever it wants to that's why second corinthian 10:3 to 5 says though we are in the world we cannot handle the world and its temptations its works of evil with what we get from the world so we need to constantly pull our mind and fix it on the lord every minute be in touch with your mind this is the secret for your happiness every minute train yourself to be in touch with your thoughts whether your thoughts are led by dead works of the enemy or of the works of love of god immediately get back into the trinity the love of the father the love of jesus sacrifice of jesus and the fellowship holy spirit wants to be with you to be your companion he wants to stay with you forever remember this love when mother mary was said how is it she said how is it possible what about my husband when the angel said there is nothing impossible for god she said i am god's can made let god's will be done the angel says wait your cousin you know elizabeth she is an old lady and in her old age god has given her grace she is also pregnant any pregnant woman knows first 3 months she has to be very careful some people even take long rest that the baby should stay otherwise it will go away we have to take extreme care 
but when she heard my baby is the gift of god but another old woman who is in need of my help because she doesn't want to tell to anybody only i know the truth because god revealed to me i will go and be with her when elizabeth saw she was shocked that mary has come greeted her her baby started to jump in joy that means that old lady who felt who will help me what will happen to whom to tell people will laugh at me she found a companion who can stay with her who can understand her a young woman who can help her love makes you to go beyond when you dwell in the love of the lord you become a vessel of that love and become gift to this broken world the world is hungering for not servants of god not ministers of god not workers of god not even priests or not even lay people who are devoted to god god is looking for people who can understand god's love and give his love wherever they are living wherever they are living